Paul Stern. I'm standing here underneath the Eiffel Tower. One of the truly amazing pieces of engineering in the last two centuries. The Eiffel Tower was built about 120 years ago, made out of over 18,000 pieces of structural steel held together with about 2 million rivets. What made it truly fascinating as a feat of engineering is that only one person was killed during its construction. Through a combination of movable platforms, safety harnesses, and guardrails, the engineers and architects of the Eiffel Tower were able to reach a level of reliable and safe building construction that really had not been achieved up to that point. By comparison, the new city center project in Las Vegas has had over five construction deaths during the first year of its operation. The Eiffel Tower, when it was built, was really the subject of a lot of controversy. It was too big, it wasn't really a building, it was just a tower, had no internal floors, many people thought it was ugly. It continues to be the subject of some controversy, as just recently, the company that does the nighttime lighting has begun to assert its copyright of that lighting as a performance. Therefore, taking a picture of the Eiffel Tower during the day is fine. Take a picture of it at night, and you're taking a photograph of a copyrighted work of art. And as a result, you're violating copyright law should you use that for anything other than your own personal consumption. Even today, the Eiffel Tower serves to illustrate how technology and our social use of technology is changing the way we think about our personal interaction. Of course, I'm not really at the Eiffel Tower. I'm here in Las Vegas at the Customer Engineering Conference. I'll tie the Eiffel Tower and, of course, Las Vegas into one more theme. At Sun, we'd like to talk about bridging the digital divide, using information to help people better themselves or to solve social problems. A lot of people say to me, well, the Eiffel Tower at the Paris Hotel isn't really the Eiffel Tower. The real one's in France. Why would you want to go see the one in Las Vegas? Very simple. For some people, it's a good way to become familiar with it, to learn the story, to understand the context with that information to help understand the larger problem. That is, after all, the whole idea of the digital divide. Coming at you live from the Paris Hotel in Las Vegas, I'm Hal Stern.